guys! Adam here and welcome back to another video in Adam's Toyland. This is a tier list video and in this tier list video I'm going to be ranking Paw Patrol pups and how cool they are. First, Marshall. I'm gonna put Marshall in the S section because I really love the color of Marshall and also Marshall's funny. He has a tendency to be very clumsy and to crash into the other pups in the elevator and they get annoyed by that too. So we move on to Rubble. All right, we I'll put Rubble in the S section as well because I really love how food motivated Rubble is. Other than food, Rubble's favorite thing in the world is bubble baths. He is the yellow construction pup and he is lovable too. All right, so we move on to Chase. Chase, <laughs> we, I'm going to put him in the A section because Chase's role <laughs> is the police and traffic cop and he's a spy in season two. Alright, so, so as a police pup, he is by instinct the leader of the pack and <laughs> is a really good leader too. And... <laughs> A funny thing about Chase is that, but Chase's allergies are very, a little bit funny. <laughs> He's allergic to cat fur, feathers, uh, dust, flowers for some reason, and I think that's about it. We move on to Rocky. All right, I'm going to put Rocky in the A section as well. I think he might be the in most interesting pup yet. <laughs> He hates water because he has a fear of it, but when he really has to, he can just, he just dives in with the rest of the pack. Now we move on to Zuma, which is Rocky's opposite. So I'm going to put Zuma in the S section as well because I love how Zuma has a love of swimming, like I do, and he has a tendency to pronounce his R's a little incorrectly. Like, for instance, he calls Rocky, Walkie. And now we move on to Sky. So, I'm gonna put her in the A section. <laughs> and that's because that, well, she's the smallest member of the Paw Patrol. And <laughs> she is absolutely adorable. Whatever she's doing, she just does a cute little black flip with a smile on her face. <laughs> I don't really think dogs can backflip in real life, but <laughs> that's a neat little thing Sky can do. We just covered the main six. All right. Now we are just going to focus on supporting characters. All right. Starting with Everest. All right. Everest is... <laughs> I'm gonna put Everest in the B section because, well, <laughs> even though Everest is an awesome character, <laughs> she is not a fan of she is not a fan of show-offs. And, well, if you're good at something, you should show it off. Besides that, she likes liver some for some odd reason, <laughs> and the other pups do not like liver as much as she does. So that earns her. The B section. All right, so Tracker. <laughs> I'm gonna add Tracker to the A section because I love how Tracker, how cute Tracker is. Well, I say that for Sky and Everett. I said that for Sky. <laughs> Tracker is really cute though. <laughs> Tracker actually is afraid of the dark and a little like Rocky, he is absolutely terrified of the dark, like he is with water. <laughs> so anyway, that aside, <laughs> he has excellent hearing and he can speak both English and Spanish. We move on to Rex. I'm going to put Rex in the B section along with Everest because, well, Rex is an awesome character, yes, but I don't really know much about him. But and the reason for that, he doesn't really appear outside of the dino-themed episodes. And actually, the, 
because he's in the dino world, <laughs> his name, Rex, is named after the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the king of the dinosaurs. And my actually absolute favorite dinosaur of all time. <laughs> so, yep. He is actually the first disabled pup in the, sh in the show. And <laughs> his back legs don't work, so he needs a little cart thing. That doesn't uh, stop him from accomplishing any missions. Robodog next. Alright, so... I'm going to put Robodog in the S section because I think having someone like Robodog around is very handy. Alright, we move on to Liberty. Now Liberty it is a really interesting one. <laughs> so, I'm going to put Liberty in the A section because I think <laughs> I like Liberty's voice and so, being a dachshund <laughs> she has a very thin body, so she can move, move in a small spaces. <laughs> and he, she actually did not appear in the Paw Patrol series, but in the animated movie. Now we move on to Gasket. <laughs> Gasket, like Everest, she is a husky, and I'm going to put Gasket in the C section. Alright, so, the reason for that is, well, she has a cool design, but she has, but she's a, a villain in Paw Patrol. We move on to Ella. <laughs> so, Ella, like Rex, does not really appear in much, many episodes because she's actually exclusive to the Paw Patrol Mighty Pup Super Pods subseries of the franchise. So, <laughs> her superpower is growing absolutely huge in size. And that actually helps her with anything that the Paw Patrol needs her to. And I really like that about her. <laughs> so, with that out of the way, let's move on to Tuck. Alright, so... I'm going to put Tuck right next to Ella because, well, <laughs> a little fact about the two of them. They are twin brother and sister, I think. Yep. Two left. We are going to move on to Arby, <laughs> the second dachshund. All right, I'm going to put him in the V section because I think he's, well, he is adorable and he can, well, I don't think he has very many abilities like the pup, like the other pups do, but he tries to get Switch Sid Swashbuckle, his owner, to stop doing his little evil like deeds, and he has he has a cute little nickname that he calls Sid Swashbuckle, Mr. Boss, Mr. Sid Sir, <laughs> that is it. All right, so last one, Dwayne. All right, I'm going to put Dwayne in the C section because, like Casket, he is a member of the Ruff Ruff Pack. And whenever I mention the Ruff Ruff Pack in here, that moves, that actually relates to the Wolfie Kids from PJ Masks. So Dwayne's character kind of reminds me of Kevin. So he actually. He actually does not want to do much evil like Gasket and the other member of the Ruffer Pack, Hubcap, can do that does. So, <laughs> actually, Dwayne actually annoys Gasket and Hubcap because he is not really smart at all. <laughs> Another villain sidekick that relates to Dwayne, other than Kevin, is Pinky from Pinky and the Brain. <laughs> Alright. I hope you enjoyed that Paw Patrol tier list. Please click the like button down below and to subscribe. Click the picture of the Eco Nations to subscribe to this channel. Oh, one more thing. Stay loving Paw Patrol. See you later. Bye.